Are you looking for budget-friendly options to equip your smart home? In today's episode, I'll be reviewing three low-cost Zigbee sensors which work with smart things. The Third Reality smart devices are easy on the wallet and easy to set up. They are also compatible with Zigbee equipped Echo devices. I'll show you how simple it is to install each device in SmartThings. That's up next. Hey, welcome to Bud's Smart Home, where we provide routines and reviews for devices which work with SmartThings and Amazon Miss A app. Join me on my YouTube channel and discover how easy it is to achieve the comfort, convenience, and security which results from a well-designed smart home. As we begin our review of these economical line of third reality smart devices, let me assure you that I have purchased all of the sensors that I'll be reviewing today and I have not received any compensation from third reality to promote their products. The three sensors which I'm reviewing today, the motion, leak, and door contact sensor, are all powered by two AAA batteries rather than the typical coin type batteries. Each device comes packaged with batteries, instructions, and mounting screws. They are all advertised as extremely easy to set up with SmartThings and other Zigbee capable hubs. To install them on your Zigbee capable Echo devices, it's just a matter of asking Miss A to discover the device. If Google or Echo devices are already connected with your SmartThings app, then the third reality devices will be automatically added to your Miss A app once they are paired with SmartThings. Let me begin today's review with the third reality motion sensor. This sensor is advertised as pet friendly. This is accomplished due to the higher detection angle and a shorter detection distance. The sensor is capable of detecting motion up to 30 feet away. The two AAA batteries can last for two years in typical usage. The sensor does have a larger profile as compared to most other motion sensors. However, you can purchase this motion sensor for fewer than $20. To set up the sensor in the SmartThings app, just insert the batteries, open your app, and tap on that plus sign to add a new device. And then simply tap Scan Nearby. Okay, let's start with adding the motion sensor here. So let's open that up. You just slide the case open like so. We'll go ahead and add a device. And I'm just gonna scan nearby once I place the batteries in. There's one battery and two. Let's go ahead and scan nearby. And it found it rather quickly. So let's go into the sensor. And it's showing motion is detected. The battery is at 79%. So that sensor seems to be working just fine. Next, let me present the third reality Zigbee door contact sensor. Using the two AAA batteries as a power source, this sensor provides convenient protection for up to two years. Because AAA batteries are larger than the nickel cell batteries, this sensor has a greater presence than most other contact sensors. Even so, the sensor is priced reasonably at less than $20 per unit. To set up this contact sensor in the SmartThings app, just tap that plus sign to add a new device and tap Scan Nearby. So add a device. And let me go ahead and open this one up like so. And we'll add the batteries in this one. I find this case a little clunky. If you start down here and put this in, yeah, it went together pretty easy that time. I see it's in pairing mode. Let's go ahead and scan nearby. If you can see that light flashing there. Okay. 
and it found it. It takes a little while, but it does find it. So there is the third reality door sensor. We'll go back. And this is what it looks like in here. Closed, open, closed, open. You gotta go quite a distance to show open. There's open, closed, open. So very responsive, requires considerable distance. The third reality Zigbee leak sensor not only provides water leak alerts via the SmartThings home monitor, this sensor also features a built-in alarm which sounds at an ear piercing 120 decibels. The built-in alarm ensures that you will get leak notifications even if your internet is down. As with the other two sensors, the leak sensor is powered by two AAA batteries. The upside of this is you get worry-free protection for up to three years. However, the AAA batteries give this sensor a larger size than most other leak sensors. This innovative smart device can also be purchased for less than $20. To pair the leak sensor up with the SmartThings app, just tap on that plus sign to add a new device and tap scan nearby. All right, so we have the door sensor and the motion detector in there. Let's go ahead now and add this leak sensor. So we'll go ahead and hit the plus sign here to add a device. And before we hit scan nearby, we'll go ahead and insert these batteries. There's one and two. Now the metal piece will go on here at the bottom when I reinsert the screws. So let's scan nearby and see how quickly we can find this device. and it's found. So it didn't take too long to find it all. And again, it was added to the Miss A app. So we'll go into, back out of here and go into that device. And you're seeing that the sensor is dry and the battery's displaying at 60%. So all three devices fairly easy to add to the SmartThings app as promised. If you would like to view and purchase any of these economical third reality smart devices, or you want to find other SmartThings compatible devices, just check out the links that accompany this video. You may also find these and many other SmartThings compatible devices on my website, Bud's Smart Home. Hey, thanks for joining me today. Until next time, keep automating and God bless.